Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is the Gigabyte OC Guru 2 program and how that works. In particular, we are doing this on the GeForce GTX 980 card from Gigabyte, the Gaming G1 edition. And I'm going to be going through the program and the steps for overclocking this card. Um, as well as showing you what we were able to achieve with our overclock. So first things first, we'll take a look at this screen here and you'll notice that you have five buttons here for different profiles. You can lock in settings so that you can't accidentally change them and when you have these settings set the way you want them, all you do is click apply and it sets it to whatever profile you're on. Cancel of course exit the program, default will revert the settings back to default and you would have to click apply to save that to that profile. Monitoring, very important little section here. You've got more and this will give you all the information about your graphics card at the current temperatures and under the, the little settings button you can set what shows up and where the information's um, stored to pause and record button. If you click re record, it'll actually put that into a log file. Of course, you have a help, a minimize, and a close out on that as well. Your GPU clock setting, you can adjust it here with the buttons or you can type into the box. And the one thing with typing into the box is you do have to hit one of the buttons for it to actually take it. And for memory clock, same thing as well as for the target percentages here you can either select power or temperature and you can also link the two items together for core voltage you have an offset minimum and enable over voltage and an offset maximum so what that'll do is actually adjust the minimum voltage that the uh, graphics card goes down to and you can also adjust the maximum voltage that it goes up to to overvolt it a little bit if you need to get a little bit more out of it. Online support gives you information for BIOS drivers, the OC Guru program, information, email, and help. You can click the little back button here to go back. Online screen display, settings for where it shows up, whether it's enabled, and whether the hotkey's there and also adjustments for the screen settings if you'd like to change those. A little information on your resolution right up front here and a place which allows you to change that resolution as well. Color depth and also your frequency that your display works at. Under fans you have manual and auto so auto, the card is automatically going to adjust the fan speed based on the temperature. Under manual, I actually had already built a custom fan profile that adjusted everything to 100% to see how loud these fans were. But you can just click these different little boxes, uh, round dots, and adjust the fan profile to the percentages that you want based on what temperature the card is getting to. So in this case, at 30 degrees, the fan speed will crank up to roughly 50%. And any higher than that, around 80, 70, 80, between 70 and 80, it'll be 100%. I didn't have any problem leaving mine on auto, so that's what I would suggest you do. But again, if you don't mind the noise and you need a little bit more cooling because you're trying to get more out of the card, you can definitely build that custom profile. Now, I've already done some tweaking with this and so for profile one here I have what I had the settings I used for my overclock so I was able to get the base up to 1443 and the boost to 1544 which is 215 megahertz higher than gigabyte clocks they're they're already overclocked card at and the memory clock I left alone because Although I was able to overclock it, it really didn't make any difference in the games that I was using to, to test. And I also had to set the core voltage to 0.037 millivolts uh, offset minimum 
just to keep the card stable when it clocked down. Also set the power target to 122% and left the temperature target alone so that um, the card could draw more power if need be off the power, slide, uh, power supply to hit the, my target boost speed. Once I set those settings and click apply, I'm able to go into one of my benchmarking programs. If we hit benchmark on here, what you're going to see is that the card does not crash immediately at all and I'm not going to run the thing through the whole or show the whole benchmark on the video because it's about 10 minutes long but I will shut this off and show you the final result at the end. So we're back with the final result of Udingen Heaven. Uh, what you can see is we get 73.2 frames per second and this is with everything maxed out in Heaven in heaven and you can see on the left here that we have our window up that shows our stats for the graphics card and we actually are hitting 1569 megahertz for the um, core speed of the GPU and we are also hitting 7012 for the memory which is stock and 1.206 volts for the GPU voltage 62% of the power is being consumed and fan speeds bouncing between 2800 and 2900 RPM with a GPU temperature of 67 to 68 degrees. So really what you can see here is that we've pushed this further than the factory overclock from Gigabyte and the GPU temperatures are staying within well within the range that they need to. Fan speeds are fairly low as far as this is concerned because it can go up to about five six thousand rpm without an issue um, so at 28 2900 rpm you really can't hear the fans very well and um, especially not over any other system noise voltage within with is within norms and we're getting a nice overclock out of the uh, graphics card so i hope you all enjoyed this video showing you the oc guru 2 software for the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Gaming G1 graphics card and as you can see this definitely performed very well with overclocking and I believe it really could be pushed further um, with a little bit more tweaking if we had a little bit more time here and for the full review please don't forget to check out www.hitechlegion.com and also please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Facebook and Twitter pages. Take care.